We are thrilled this morning to welcome the author known as the queen of the summer novel back to Studio 57. Ellen Hildebrand is out with The Rumor, which takes readers to Nantucket for the 15th time. And this time, the gossip starts to fly about two best friends. But first, we want to take you back to last June. Ellen joined us on CBS this morning with her own real life story. And it was a deeply personal revelation. She had just been diagnosed with breast cancer. My diagnosis came only three weeks ago. Um, I'm having a double mastectomy tomorrow, so it's been very, 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 very fast. And um, all I can say is nobody prepares you for it, mm -hmm. you know. And I have so many friends and such wonderful family, but the interesting thing that you find out is that you are alone in your body. Yep. Your body is your well, she fought that cancer, and we are glad to say she joins us once again. And you look fantastic, Ellen. Thank you, Gail. But let's go back to that day because most people, I think. Many people would have been in the fetal position. You were so calm, so composed. We were all talking about it. When you look back on that day, what are you thinking? What were you thinking? Um, I watched the clip and I thought to myself, okay, that girl knew nothing. Uh -huh. um, yeah. I had no idea what was coming. Uh, and I think actually that was a good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because what happened from there? Because this was a big deal. Yeah, I left New York. I flew to Boston. I was treated at Mass General. I underwent a six hour surgery. Oh. Um, and here I just want to give a shout out to my surgeons, Dr. Mm -hmm. Colwell and Dr. Specht. They are both blonde, brilliant mothers. Mm -hmm. They took such good care of me. And, um, you know, you wake up and you, I think I emailed you and it said it feels like you have concrete breasts tied on with barbed wire. Mm -hmm. So much pain, um, a long reconstruction. Mm -hmm. And then in October, once my implants were in, um, I had a life-threatening infection on the left that had me flown in an emergency helicopter from Nantucket to Boston and my left breast came out again. So I'm probably the only person you know who lost three breasts this year. Yes. Um, <laughs> so you can, you, at least you can joke about it. Can you joke about it? You were lopsided, you said, for three months? Lopsided, flat to the bone on the left for three months. Wow. Um, I had a prosthetic breast. My teenage boys would throw it at each other. <laughs> uh, making me say, can I please have my breast back, guys? And um, yeah, but I am now fully reconstructed and I'm healthy and I'm cancer free. So, so happy. Oh. And you look good, too. When Thank I hug you. you, I go, is it okay to hug you? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, I feel great. Right. Yeah, you look good. You, 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 you and your kids have talked about being mama strong. Where did that phrase come from? My nine-year-old daughter Shelby dreamt up the hashtag mama strong, and we all know she went like this. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And um, I think for them that was my default position because they're my children and yeah. they could not imagine anything else. And I really tried to stay focused on the thing that actually saves you is the normalcy of your life. Yeah. I had to get up, yeah. make pancakes, take them Care to school. Kids. You know, I wrote two novels this year. I, you know, once I was able, I went running every day. So just the normalcy of life really kept me going. What was it like? Because you wrote this book while you were dealing with it. I did. Was this a, kind of an escape for you? It was a wonderful escape. Yeah. yeah. My novel, The Rumor, is super fun. It's about people who gossip. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. And I live on Nantucket, which is four miles wide and 13 miles long and is a fishbowl. Yeah. And yeah. in the winter, people say, what do you do in the winter? I say, oh, we talk about one another. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you really do. But this book is about a best friend who's having an affair and she tells her best friend and then the friend puts it in a book and then the friend writes about her best friend's novel Yikes. as it's happening <laughs> and is having some sort of moral qualms about it um but there's a great line in the book Nora you'll appreciate this because she says any woman who's having an affair her best friend knows all yes and that's yeah. very true but there's also a character one of the writers she has writer's block does that ever happen to you I don't really have the luxury for writer's block because I'm writing two novels a year, so I have to make myself do it. <laughs> um, but I have, over the course of writing 15 novels, fallen prey to the distractions. Sure. Sure. So what? So the, it's the telephone, it's yeah. the internet, yeah. and in Madeline's case, she goes to get a pen out of the drawer, decides she wants to reorganize the drawer, go on Amazon, buy drawer organizers. I mean, you just get... Distracted. Sideline. You write yeah. in longhand, yeah. though. And I write in longhand. How do you pull that off in this day? And two novels in and longhand. And two novels. Yeah. I know. People think it takes a long time, and I suppose it does, but this is how my brain flows. Uh -huh. I write it all in a notebook, and that way I can do it on the beach. Uh -huh. I can do it on the train. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write today in the car service, you know. Um, on like on like big yellow pads? Big yellow pads, and then I take those notebooks and I transfer it into my computer, and that's the first edit. Uh -huh. You know, I've talked to other authors who say, who use that technique and say it's one of the best ways to do it because if you can write quickly like that, it just 
flows out better than sometimes it flows typing. out better. And I think it's because I'm old. I hate to say it, but that's just how I learned. I did not learn typing on the computer. I'll tell you what, what flowed what, out for me on page 148. Yeah, yeah. This is my favorite page. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know. This is my favorite You have a lot of know, favorite pages, judging but, by the But this one is my favorite. Post-its. Yeah. She tried to imagine herself going on CBS This Morning with Gail King, Nora O'Donnell, and Charlie Rose to discuss a novel <laughs> she had written about Grace and Benton Co. The morning shows are going to love it. Gail King is going to go nuts. She and Nora will fight over it, as we often do, Nora. As we often do. But I, but I love that you put us in the book. Yeah. So I thank you for that special Oh, my shout goodness. Out. It was a joy. I, I thank you. It but I want to go back to your breast experience for just a second, because there's a very touching thing that happened to you. You went around the country and you were speaking. Yes. And there were two women sitting in the front row. Yes. Who so dare you speak. 12 days after my double mastectomy, my big operation, I had drains in which is too awful to explain. They were tied to my dress and I was on painkillers and I wasn't supposed to be traveling at all, but I thought I'm gonna travel because I'm gonna be healthy enough to do it. Yeah. In a brown bag lunch, 100 women, two women sitting to my front left, one had no hair, totally mm. bald, one had very short hair. When they came through the line, they said to me, we have both had double mastectomies. Wow. We have together gone through 36 rounds of chemo and 64 rounds of radiation. Oh. And we came today, Ellen, to show you that you are going to be fine. Oh, I love that. And it was the grace and the yep. strength of women who were far sicker than I was yep. coming to give me support yep. that made me feel like, you know what, I can, I can do this. Yes, wow. Ellen, somebody's what watching you right now and is feeling, right. I'm going to get through right. this. You, Listen yes, to and that's my job now is to say you can do this. Yes. Yes. Ellen Hildebrand, thank, thank you so much. Congratulations. Let's hold up the yeah. book. Thank do you, you mind? The, the rumor. rumor. It's on sale now. Right. Mama Strong. Mama Strong.